YouTube. Hey, this is Misha Baysmore from Coco Twins coming in to talk to you guys about a new GPT that I wrote. This GPT will help you turn your art so you can upload art, you can upload a prompt, or you can upload an idea and then it will create a table of ideas based on what you've uploaded. The value of the table is that it will save you time in creating your art. It's also a tool that you can sell as a prompt idea guide. So this is free. <laughs> I posted it this morning. If you're on YouTube, you can get to it by clicking on the, let's see here. Oh, y'all, I didn't put it in there. I'm going to put it in the chat so you guys can have it. I thought I put it in there. No. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this link. And YouTube, you can find the link to this GPT that I wrote in ChatGPT version 4. So that way you can follow along. So hey, TikTok, hey, again, if you want the links that I share, you want easier access to it, go ahead and meet me over on YouTube under Coco Twins YT. So Coco Twins YT, all right? So I let my Facebook family know this morning. Now I'm letting you guys know that moving forward, the live videos will be on YouTube. YouTube makes it easier to, or makes you guys more accessible to me, right? So I can ask you questions. You can ask me questions. You can share the video. I can create clips based on the video. It just feels like it's a better way to communicate with you out versus TikTok and Facebook. But TikTok and Facebook don't fret because YouTube, I can walk YouTube back, right? So YouTube can be turned into 60 second clips, all right? So this is this is my brain working. This is my brain working on trying to figure out a pain point for those people who constantly ask me, and it's not the, it's not them. It is totally the way that I'm using the TikTok platform. So because the way I'm using the TikTok platform, there are no clickable links to get to the things that I want to share. But over on YouTube, I can answer that pain point and offer those uh, links. Also, at the very same time, I can... Uh, uh, more characters to be able to uh, 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 answer your questions in a live chat. And then at the same time, you can go back and watch the video again. So my mind is thinking about how can I so solve the pain points for the people that want the replays? How can I solve the pain point for the people who um, may have missed it, but don't use Facebook or can't find it in Facebook, right? Or they don't use uh, TikTok. Uh, and they can't find, or they can't find it in TikTok. Go to YouTube. YouTube is, I think, the second largest search engine, right? So when you search by Misha Baysmore, you'll be able to find me. When you search by Coco Twins, you'll be able to find me, all right? So I just feel like it's a better communication tool, all right? So hey, TikTok, hey, thank you guys so very much for joining me over here. Um, so what I'm doing in, all right, so let's see here. Make sure I got it. Yeah, got it on. Do, do not disturb. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm taking these two dolls and I'm these two babies, Christmas babies, right? And I am turning them into, let's see here, go down, into ideas, prompt ideas. So the prompt ideas, unlike Mid Journey, you need to have um, very detailed prompts to put into Mid Journey to get Mid Journey to respond in a way that you want it to when it creates the art, right? You have to say, you know, um, um, give me this art style, this camera angle, this, 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 you know. You could do the same thing in Dali, but it's not necessary for you to word it like you would if you were putting it into Mid Journey. So, unlike Mid Journey, Dali can take ideas. So, I'm, I'm going to tie this together. Those of you that create and purchase prompt guides, you don't have to have long drawn out prompts to help people create something in DAL E. All right, now I'm gonna walk that backwards. When you create the art in DAL E using the idea, 
the DAO or DAO E will typically give you a comprehensive prompt that you can walk back to mid journey. You guys got me? So you do not need to have a robust prompt to find some art in DALI. But when you do find it in DALI, maybe you want to say, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and reach back and help those people that are sitting on the waiting list for chat GPT and create a mid journey prompt that they may be able to use. All right. So if you guys have any questions about that, let me know, because this this whole this whole situation is chess. It is not checkers. Right. We are going to think about this thing logically. And we're going to use this thing to our full advantage because one thing about AI, right, as far as how we're using it, is it doesn't care who's using it. You can look like anything and use it and be able to make money, right? So, yeah, the barriers, a lot of the barriers are gone. They are down, right? Because this AI space kind of, uh, uh, levels the playing field a little, you know, well, I'm not going to say a little bit, a lot, right? Because I actually tested some theories and maybe that's something I'll go over later on with using the, um, the uh, you know, this whole AI space and digital download space. And I'm just thinking about a story now and I'm not, I'm trying not to go into the story of what I did. Um, but long story short, I put a shop up, wasn't connected to Coco Twins didn't mention anything but technical books, just just ebooks about AI. Didn't mention person, place, thing, just information. Made it very generic. Do y'all know within a couple of hours that store was making money? And, it, and there's a reason why I was making money on Etsy. I just wanted to test the theory. So within the first couple of days, I made 100 sales. I did not connect it to Coco Twins. I did not connect it to Coco Twins. It's it's a really... So this whole AI space, really, if you, if you know how to move in it, right, and you don't allow yourself to become a victim of it, there is a way to be able to <laughs> be able to change your financial outlook. All right. Do I still recommend Bing, which is now a new name? So Bing, I will tell you this. There are people that say you can monetize the art on Bing. There are people that say you cannot. Right. I don't go by word of mouth. One thing I learned as a um, uh, registered trademarked company, a, a name, my um, name, Coco Twins, is a registered trademark. I don't go by word of mouth because I know what people think to be the truth about being as far as can you uh, use it uh, commercially or not. It don't make a difference what we think, what is in writing. Until the information changes, that is when we change. We cannot make these situations fit what we want, right? So just because being is free, does not mean you could take it over to Canva and edit it because what you're doing is you're removing their intellectual property from that image. What is that intellectual property? Their logo, right? So they may or may not find out you're doing it. That's, you know, that's whatever it is. That's a whole different story. But let me put this in your ear. The way you enter this space the digital download space and the AI space will determine how far you get into it. So if you're entering this space by removing someone's trademark, you know, a logo from their art, then turning around, creating or selling the art, putting your own watermark on it because you don't want anybody to steal from you, you're basically just walking yourself downhill in the whole situation. Pull up, y'all. Use the tools that are available to you, all right? So what do I think about Bing? Use it to practice. Note that it does have a limit on characters, meaning that your, your the prompts that you use in DALI can't, aren't as long or can't be as long in uh, Bing. So you got your limitation there. Then the uh, art that you create, you can't commercialize it, but it is a great place to practice. It is a great place to practice, to see what you like, see what you don't like. You know, you, you, you just have your limitations on it, but don't give up on it. But until you see section seven 
of the <laughs> use of terms on Bing say that it can be used commercially, please do not do it. The way you enter this space, be it you get caught or not, will be the tone you are setting for this space and the opportunity to make hundreds of thousands a month are going to basically be thrown out the window by your mindset. All right. So any of you that may be new to um, any of my live videos, I'm also a certified mind coach. That's one thing that I cannot neglect. I have to stay in that space, especially in this digital download space, because some of you don't know that I've been in the digital download space since 1994. Yeah, that long. 1994. Right. So I've grown with this space from moving from the DOS prompt and being the person who was awarded a military accommodation for learning a software called Eagle Point. And if you're an engineer, um, construction worker, you know what Eagle Point is. And I was the one who was awarded the accommodation for learning that software and implementing it in the United States Marine Corps to help build the United States crucible. This is this is this is my whole situation. All right. So those of you that may be new to me, I want you to know I'm real to this game, right? This game ain't playing me, I'm playing it because I've been on it for so long. And my people that happen to be my age, you know, Gen Xers, middle, middle aged people, we are needed in this space because we have a certain outlook on this world that youth. You know, they can't get it from youth. You can't buy it. You can try to read about it, but you can't connect to it, right? So when there's a young person that comes behind me and say something like, well, they said on a forum that you can use the AI art from Bing without or commercially, to me, that's a red flag. And that is, um, um, uh, what is it? Lack of maturity in this space, right? So we know how to navigate this space. So we're in the space where we are from the rotary dial phone, <laughs> the phone plugged into the wall <laughs> to AI. You can't buy that experience. That's why I feel like AI is the thing for Gen X. And we ain't got to sing, dance, clap our hands, do a flip, nothing. We just come in with real world real world experience, learned experiences, and then share our story instead of letting vulnerability seem like a weakness, understand it's actually a strength. Some of us are held hostage by our vulnerability. We feel like our vulnerability is actually doing us an injustice. How dare you feel that way? <laughs> right? And I just wish a lot of people that the Gen Xers understood that we our parents experience what they experience as far as, you know, a lot of racism. You, you, you know what they experience and their parents experience what? Now, here we are in this space. <laughs> We're like in the middle where the 20 something year olds understand that their, their voices matter. And the younger people now understand that it's OK to have uh, uh, like like I'm going to raise my hand, you know. ADHD, ADD, there's nothing wrong with them, right? So we're, we're in between all of that. We know what it, we know what it's like. So if you took that information, tied it with what you like to do, your creativity, because that's the very first thing that, that God did, he created, right? So we're made in his image. So take your creativity, take your lived experience and tie it into AI and try to figure out how to help somebody. That is is my strategy for this AI space. That's my strategy. All right. All right. So with me telling you guys that uh, I've been in this digital download space since 94, I know what it feels like to draw something and have to roll it up and put it into a tube because when you shopped it around to people, you had to get approval from people to post it. That ain't no more. And Gen Xers, you know that. So why not take advantage of being in this space and time and using the very gift we've been given? <laughs> right? 
<laughs> bring the trauma because the trauma makes the art better. <laughs> right. So, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get off of the whole mindset thing because I like to do that when I start. This is for all my new people. I like to do that when I start. So that way you guys can see that I actually am a person and I have a personality and, 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 you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I, I've been through real things and I am 48 years old. All right. So there are things that I know that young people who may hold degrees <laughs> don't know simply from experience. All right. So um, my middle agers do not count yourself out because you don't think you're where you're supposed to be. Maybe there's some life you need to live before you get to that point. But instead you choose to be afraid of whatever or not practice gratitude for whatever. All right. So what I did here, I created these two dials and I'm going to show you guys. So I, I did this last night. This was on TikTok. So what I did in Canva I'm just going to get to the design. Is this it? Y'all see that baby, right? So I created these designs in Canva, right? So you see the baby in the purple and the, the two babies in the purple. It started out as one baby in purple, right? And then I brought the two babies together to create a sticker. So what I want to do with this design is I want to put it into the art prompt list GPT that I created to have the GPT write a list of design ideas like two joyful toddlers and vibrant holiday onesies with curly hair adorned with bows, sharing a toy, the hyper-realistic scene exudes the warmth of holiday gifting. Right. So I want to show you guys how you can go from one design to two designs to a whole text prompt. All right. So you guys bear with me as I go through this and I'm going to try to keep this. Um, and I wish I could. I'm at the set a timer next time because I want to do this in 30 minutes or less. All right. So. I'm going to head over to Etsy. And I am going to show you guys where I purchased that guide from to create this art. So you guys know my reference point for the art. So this is, this right here is where I um, got it from. The name of the shop is the J9DS Digital Designs, right? So um, the link will be in the chat. And I just closed out by mistake. Let me get into it. Purchases and grab her link. This is one of my students Etsy page. And the thing I could tell you about their this Etsy page or a lot of their Etsy pages and a lot of them are right now they're on this YouTube video is that some of them had stores that had set quiet for a while. And then they figured out how to um, incorporate what they like to do with AI, what they like to see with AI. All right. And then their stores grew. All right. Their stores grew. And it grew because they were filling, they were, they were checking off a few boxes. They were helping people with AI because a lot of people don't know what to say. So they were creating prompt guides. They were helping people, um, what is it? Print on demand users by taking the art, the art that is generated from the prompt and turning it into high resolution art, right? They took their art and they turned it into uh, KDP ready journal covers, right? They took their art and they turned it into repeating patterns for wrapping paper. They created tumblers, right? They've been moving with this art and they have been doing a really, really good job. So the prompt guide that I, that I'm, or the art that I generated using the prompt guide was created by one of my students. If you go to etsy.com and you go and you search AI prompts and you see the, diverse, the, blah, the diversity <laughs> in the prompt guides, 
what you will notice, and I'm just gonna go ahead and just take a little trip over there and do AI prompt. Because I want you guys to not only know how to create things, but also see how they can be sold. See how they can be sold. So right now, AI prompt, that is the um, keyword that I'm using. There are over 728 monthly searches on it. And there is only 18,000 results right now. So anybody that's on Etsy knows that's like, that's pretty, that's pretty good, right? Um, the When we first got started, this number was lower. But when you take into consideration what we can create with AI, which is clip art, and we go in and we type clip art, we may see that there are more people searching for clip art, 1900 versus 728 when, it, when you think about the AI prompt. But when you click on clip art, there are over 3 million results, right? 3 million results. 3 million results. So the se give me the 728, the 728 people searching a month for AI prompts with only 18,000 results. Give me that any day to be able to rank faster on Etsy instead of just doing clip art. And you'd be surprised. I'm gonna go ahead and filter down my digital downloads. Keep in mind 18,000 before I filter down into digital downloads. And the number goes down to 16,964. All right. And when you look at the first page of the AI prompt keyword, it is a very diverse space. It didn't used to look like this. All right. So there are some things that we've learned how to do to be able to rank within the first day of posting on Etsy. All right. Let's go ahead and let's take a look at what they're making on this stuff. So these prompt guys, so this is, I'm gonna tie it to the, to the list, having a list, right? So let me do AI prompt. Let's see, let's do AI prompts. There we go, now we down, okay. So now let me do product analysis. All right, so these AI prompt guides, $905, two months old, $796, two months old. First month, $710. All right. First, no, second month, $630. So 84 total sales in two months. 84 total sales in two months of prompt guides simply by filling a need. You have to figure out what that need is. You have to figure out what that need is. All right. Now, I'm gonna do this because I want you guys to, to take this into consideration as well. If you, desire, if you decide to create more than um, one prompt guide, if you decide to create more than one prompt guide list or whatever, put them on your website. So I have this one, this one, let me go to my website, my Etsy store. So in, in my Etsy store, I have, Let's see here, do, do, do. AI prompts. I have 45 AI prompt guides. They vary in pricing. Some of them are older than the others because they started on, no, they're all the same price right now. They're all $14 with 40% off. And I do sales throughout the month. So all 45 are bundled. And this is for all of my prompt guide sellers. They're bundled into a one guide or a one product that I'm selling for $53.99. And uh, having um, been on this space selling prompt guides for long, as long as I have, I've noticed that people don't typically buy more than three or four prompt guides you know, from the same person. They'll go looking, looking, for, looking for them from different people. So the amount of money that you can make on um, selling prompt guides it can, is lower than what you can do if you bundled it all together. Why not bundle it together? give them access to it, set a limit on it, right? Maybe say through 2023, you know, th this is mine. This one ends December, 2023. Maybe you do one next year and say first quarter um, prompt uh, bundle, second quarter prompt bundle, third quarter prompt bundle, fourth quarter prompt bundle. Go ahead and buy the mega bundle, 2024's mega bundle where we feature first, second, third, and fourth. <laughs> 
uh, uh, quarter prompt guys, right? And just that's how you can tier it three times. So your lower tier can be the prompt guide by itself or your list of ideas. Then you can have a prompt guide with the tested art. Then you can have a prompt, a specialty prompt guide. Then you can have everything all bundled into a uh, one listing. And bundles sell on Etsy. Bundles sell on Etsy. So I'm going to do a product analysis on my own store. So my two bundles, this one, which is the prompt bundle, made $3,800 last month. It's the three-month-old product. The Canva frame bundle is a two-month-old product. I got 48 sales from that. All right. 21 reviews on the all access pass. Nine on a Canva frame bundle. Right. 100% visibility score. All right. And my shop was closed for a whole year. I think it was either last year or year before last, right? So um, just the prompt, I mean, and that's just the, the bundles. I still make sales on the individual prompt guides. So let's see here. 932 on this one, 632 on this one, 428 on this one, along with the bundles and all of these prompt guides as well. All right. So I want you guys to see that there are levels to this thing. There are levels to this thing. I'm also a five star seller or a five, uh, have five star review star seller. All right. So I'm not just shooting from the hip or, you know, giving you guys information from theory. This is um, actual work. All right. So let's go ahead and let's go into Canva. And I got the two dials here. I have the one here. So what I did first was I made sure that the art was purple. So let me go ahead and duplicate this. So over here, I have the babies. So I'm just going to do this really quickly. So I'm going to grab two babies. So I got two babies. Edit photo, background remove. Edit photo, background remove. And I am going to try to get their purple um jumpers to look the same she has on or they both have on earrings so they're both baby girls you may have twins you may know somebody that's having twins you may be throwing a baby shower somebody may be having twins for for christmas what a a great gift i have twins all right so edit photo i'm doing fresco changing the filter to fresco to get them um, kind of matching. And one thing about the art, when it has brown skin and it's wearing purple, you can adjust the color here in Canva. So I'm with, the, with this dial selected, I'm selecting adjust, and then I'm coming down to color edit and then changing the color, just trying to make it a little deeper, just so that way it matches the other baby suit a lot better. All right, so let me try to get in there. All right. So since they are separated, if I wanted to turn them into a sticker, I know somebody asked me last night, why not just group them and turn them into a sticker? Because they won't act as one entity. Acting as one entity means that if I put the sticker effect on the dial, it will cover both dials evenly and not each dial individually. So if I group them to show you guys, so group them and then edit and effects and shadows and outline, set it to white, it only does it to one image, all right? So to change that, what I'm gonna do is flatten the image and that, all that means is just joining the two pieces together by downloading it as a PNG with a transparent background, because I want to retain the transparency. So I'm creating art and I'm also creating art, an art reference for a prompt and for a list of ideas and to use as an art prompt to create more art. All right. So 
you can pull your art together. So that way it's not just it's it's not just as is. You can create you can turn your art into different designs and even prompts. All right. So let me upload the image so you guys can see that now they're one entity. Let me get rid of the two little babies in the background. And with them being one entity. I'm gonna change the color of their suit so that way they match. So hopefully I got the purples close enough. So with the image selected, I'm selecting edit photo. Then I'm selecting, I'm gonna make it fresco so they're bold. Selecting adjust. Now down here, selecting the purple and then seeing if I can, so you can see that the color is changing on them now. Right? So once I do that, I can either stop there and offer this as a sticker, or I may duplicate it and then, let's see here, wrong duplicate. And then maybe put a shadow around both babies. All right, so now I have that sticker effect and that's a Canva thing, give it a chance to process, there we go. I can even have them both together and then add something like, and I showed this in my previous video. So Merry Christmas, baby's first Christmas, I don't know, it's whatever you want it to be. Select your font style and let me do, I'm gonna do it on a purple. Yeah, so let me go take these two off. So I'm gonna do it on the purple because I wanna take this text and match it to their little onesies. Let's see, letter spacing, edit color, and then effects and set it to white, the outline white, and then move it around. Let's see here. I'm going to see what. Or as a matter of fact, let's do this. Let me, and I said 30 minutes, y'all. If you got it, if you got to jump off, no worries. A video on YouTube so you can always come back and watch the replay. So effects and uh, duplicate it. And none position to the back. And I can just. Duplicate this down. Let me see. I want to see if this is let's see position layers and move the babies up. And I can change it to black if I want to. I wonder what, what it would look like if I did black. Mm. No, I don't like that. So I'm going to go back to this and position to the front. I have to work that one out some more. I had an idea in my head and it just didn't look right after I got it out of my head. All right. So the two babies together with the word. And those of you that are like, what can I do to clip art that I purchased that allows me to use it commercially with edits, I'm showing you that as well. You can totally turn it into a sticker. This is using my art. Turn it into a sticker and by just adding additional graphics, changing the color, adding word art, different things like that. It doesn't have to be a whole lot, but you wanna put your own spin on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and download this image and then upload it into the system. So upload. And there it is. I didn't take the background off. So edit photo, background remover. Make sure that background comes off. Yeah, the background came off. So let's go back. Okay. So now that their suits are purple and the word is purple, I can now... I want to edit photo, 
shadows outline and make it white and then make it thicker so I have a sticker effect with Merry Chris Christmas on it. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate it and it's still there we go duplicate it and now I'm going to edit photo adjust and then selecting the purple and now changing the hue and saturation and you see the entire image is changing with the Merry Christmas. All right, so I can put them in blue, have a sticker effect like that or not. So I'm gonna duplicate this one, edit photo and select purple and then change the hue. Oh, it's not, it's not one piece. Hold on y'all, I gotta do it with one piece. So I'm going to See, edit photo, background. I knew I should. Did I keep that copy? No, I got rid of it, didn't I? I did. I always make a copy. All right, I did in that time. All right, so this one I'm going to go ahead and make blue because I want to use this one as my reference for the GPT. So edit photo, adjust the purple, and then I'm going to switch it to blue or green. or maybe the pink or the red. Okay, so number seven, share, download. The current, current page is seven. Transparent background and download. One of the things about upscaling the art first because I upscaled this art before I used it, so it's actually larger than 10, was it 1024? is I don't have to, after I make these edits, um, I can just use it like this. I don't have to increase the pixel size. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and go into the chat GPT. So you guys see I made that one. I'm going to the chat GPT art prompt list creator and the link to the list creator is in the chat. All right, I'm gonna copy the link again. I'm just gonna pop it right back into the chat on YouTube. And those of you that are joining me here on TikTok, if you want the link, head over to Coco Twins on YT, which is Coco Twins on YouTube. All right, so Coco Twins on YT. And you'll be able to get the link to this uh, GPT that I wrote. All right, so what I'm gonna do is attach that art. What did I do with them? and then hit the arrow. I'm not gonna tell it anything. I wanna see what type of list it's gonna write based on that art. I don't want it to give it to me in that format, so I'm gonna stop it and refresh it. And I bet you it's a transparency throwing it off, making it go into that. Nope, there we go. All right, so it gives me a table. I created the art prompt list to give you a table. So that way you can see the subject, you can see the hairstyle, you can see the art style, you can see the attire, and then you have the art idea text. And it's going to give you generic information. Like it's it's not going to give you ethnicity. It's not going to um, give you any of that. And that's so that way more people can use it, right? If you want to add the ethnicity, then go ahead and add the ethnicity to it. All right. Or you can tell it to please rewrite and include African American in the art idea. Hit enter. And now it is entering African American. And then you can tell it to continue to go on like that. All right. So once it comes up with the art idea, you can take the art idea and render the art. So an African-American Tyler exuding joy with puffy curly hair depicted in a vibrant digital art style dressed in festive Christmas pajamas, cheerfully unwrapping. I'm gonna tell it to please rewrite and make it two babies. So I just love doing this. And I did this one earlier because I want you guys to see how much easier it is to prompt for Dal E versus Mid Journey. So this, is, this isn't this is something you would be able to do in Mid Journey to say, okay, thank you for the information, but can you add this? Can you add this? So that way it will not only create, for in this case, a list of ideas for you, but it's creating a table based on what you want to see. 
So now, and it's, and it's still staying within this space, right? Because this is the reference. This is how the art prompt list creator communicates. It communicates either by the art you upload, the prompt you upload, or the idea you upload. It will create a ta table from any of that. So you can go in and say something like, I want to see an African-American chibi girl. And it will um, choose the subject, the hairstyle, the art style, and the attire, and give you an art idea, um, an art idea that you can later edit for yourself the way I'm editing it, or you can go ahead and do it manually, all right? So I'm looking for the one that says, oh, this says cartoonish glossy finish. So two excited African-American babies with tight curls in a cartoonish style with a glossy finish, finish dressed in matching Santa outfits, opening a gift box with bright twinkling lights. So I'm going to copy this. Paste it and hit enter. And when you put in the idea, if it doesn't trigger it to go into DALL-E and start creating the art, then just tell it to please create and it'll go into creating the art for you. All right. One thing you will learn when it does create the art, and I don't know what it's going to create because this first time I'm seeing glossy Christmas baby, right? So it created these little babies for me from that, right? And I can continue to build upon this. So it took the one baby image and turned it into two baby images. And if I don't like this, I can... Uh, tell it to do it again, or I can tell it to, you know, uh, hit the re-roll button, or I can tell it, great, thank you, that that looks good. Go ahead and create the two girls with Afro puffs and bows in her hair, in their hair. Or you can have it do this, and what a sweet, sweet surprise, right? Now I have the two babies with... <laughs> This cracks me up so much because I get so tickled by what it creates simply from giving it an idea versus giving it a whole prompt, right? Which means that now you're getting into your own space of creating from an idea, but you're making it your own so you don't have to worry about looking like everybody else, all right? Also, the beauty with this design is now, remember when I said in the beginning, you can go from um, Dal E to Mid Journey prompt. So it gave me a prompt that says, Two excited African American babies with tight curls wearing matches Santa outfits in a glossy, cartoonish art style. They are opening a Christmas box surrounded by bright, twinkling lights with expressions of joy and excitement on their faces. And you can sell this prompt. So I can copy this prompt and I can use this prompt again. Or I can just, um, I'm going to use this prompt again, right? So use that prompt again to create more art. You can also tell it to create a list. Oh, now it's at, there it is. It seems you've reiterated the prompt that was used for idea generation. If you are looking to create or generate another image or need a different prompt, please let me know. Additionally, would you be interested in a list of trending digital download ideas from Etsy? I put this in here. So I'm going to continue to go with it, right? Because I, I really like the, I like the babies a lot. I like the babies a lot. So from the babies like this, it knew it was a Merry Christmas thing because we had Merry Christmas. The gifts, right? If it would have just been the gifts and the babies, it wouldn't have known Merry Christmas. It may have just thought birthday or something like that, but it reads words, all right? So it knows it's a Christmas themed design. So it took me from this, to something brand new that is all something that I created. Y'all see that, right? Y'all see that? Okay. All right. So those of you that are on the wait list for ChatGPT4, um, this uh, plus subscription, then um, just let people know you need the art. You you can you can be working with the art and creating things that can help you pay for your subscription when you're off the waiting list. You can literally get yourself set up by having this art or finding art that's purple and creating various designs.
All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and continue with the art prompt list creator because this is how I primed it. This is the instructions I gave it to ask you if you want to visit trending digital download ideas on Etsy. I'm going to say yes. So it is thinking about its response. And bonus points for anybody that tries any of these GPTs um, using the app. All right, bonus points to any of you guys using the app and having a conversation with it. All right, so right now I told it to go search for Etsy. So guess what it did? It went out and it searched for Etsy. It says due to limitations, it cannot, which do not support transactions or interactive content typically found. However, if you would like to see the trending, did okay. So you can't browse Etsy directly. I know that. So if you do, you want to see the digital downloads on Etsy, so you can visit the digital downloads section. Um, please visit their digital download section and see if it will go out because I have it set up to create art and to also search the web. So this thing is set up to not only create the art, but to take you into the space of what to create. All right, so let's see. We don't want to scrape Etsy because we know we cannot but we do want it to go to the Etsy website, the digital download website, and see what is you know, on the first page. Basically, just let us know what's on the first page so we'll have an idea of what is trending over there. Or go ahead and create a, create a list for us. So it, it does different things. And this one is saying error browsing, which is no problem. So I'm going to say no problem. Please try this link. So I'm going to walk it around. So I'm going to go and tell it exactly where to go. So Etsy digital download. Uh, let's see here, because I don't know if you guys know, but Etsy has a marketplace called digital downloads, and that's where I wanted to look. And I don't know if it knows that that's where to go. So I'm copying it. So I'm copying it and going back to ChatGPT and it popped out of what I was doing. Okay, can you browse for what's popular? And back off the keywords a little bit. You say you love how we're so polite with AI. Because <laughs> it's, it's literally created by people. So it's going to respond in a certain way, right? It's literally, um, uh, it's created by people. So it has its, 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 its own little feelings right now. Don't know where we're going to head with that, but I don't know. But I do know right now we are in control of AI. AI isn't in control of us. So let's keep on going with it. And is it stuck? Did I break it? I may have to refresh and regenerate. Oh, that's why I reached my limit. That's not a problem because what I'm going to do is fire up my second account, which happens to be, there it is, My one of my, um, the people who work for me is their account. So um, the art prompt lister, let's go. I got it loaded up here with a different image because I had a feeling that was going to happen. So now I'm going to do it again, this time with the other, there we go, with the other account. So now it has given me a whole new list. So two toddlers with curly hair depicted in hyper-realistic. I like the digital art look. A toddler, it even broke it down into one kid. So a toddler with ringlet curls rendered in colorful digital art, cloning a cozy Christmas sweater with the backdrop of uh, twinkling lights. This one says twin babies with puffy curls and a stylized illustration clad in matching Christmas put onesies opening a present together. Huh. I'm going to choose that one. See what it what it creates from that. And if you guys have questions, go ahead and ask your questions. And while I'm waiting for that to render, I'll do my best to answer them.
Um, let's see here. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. So I didn't say African-American, but they're still cutie pies. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is say, please create or please change the subjects because they're, they're still sweet babies. And I think I may put them up. Please change the subjects to African American babies. Because I want to do it with the purple. I want to show you guys because changing the color works with the brown skin and the purple. And the other um, skin tones, hues, haven't figured that one out yet. But um, hopefully um, the king's queen, maybe she'll figure that one out. But let's keep going. Yeah, this is good after midnight. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. So now they're in their matching pajamas and they're, tw oh, how cute are these little people? <laughs> right? So it started from this. I took the, one of the ideas and it gave me this, this set of twins and this set of twins, right? So when I select the image, what it's going to give me is a prompt. I could take this prompt and I can run it in Discord or I can take the prompt and I can sell it, right? Or I can take the prompt and paste it and then say, please create a list of ideas using this prompt. And since it's the list writer, hopefully it responds as it should, which should be in a table format because it is set up to do a table format. Yes, this will be, um, it should be already in the dial chat bot, but I'll check to see if it's in the dial chat bot um, because you guys should have access to this, all right? So this time it wrote out, is writing out the list a little differently, but I can always re-roll it to have it do something different, but it's still giving me the text art idea. So I can just copy it like that. All right, so African-American twin toddlers with short puffy curls in a vibrant watercolor style wearing green. Oh, let's see what that looks like. That's watercolor. Um, This one is chalk. This, this one is digital caricature. Oh my goodness, I got to see both the watercolor and the caricature. So you guys see what I'm doing there? I've literally taken art and used it as a prompt. That's all I did. I use it as a prompt within the art prompt list creator to create things that are uniquely my own because I like the look and the feel of the art, right? So that's watercolor. All right, that is, I'm gonna explore this one further, but I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a prompt for this. So if you're on YouTube, pause it so that way you can get the prompt for this art. If you are on TikTok, then head over to Coco Twins on YT on YouTube to be able to get it, all right? This is Dal, chat GPT, Dal E. So the prompt for this reads, African-American twin toddlers with short puffy curls portrayed in a vibrant watercolor style. They are wearing cozy red and green striped pajamas surrounded by a cheerful Christmas morning setting with a tree and presents. The toddlers are joyfully playing with new toys, their faces lit with the excitement of the holiday. All right, so go ahead and take that prompt and create something unique. Now I wanna see the caricature, paste it there. I can also say, make everybody wear purple. Recreate, make everybody wear purple, all right? What are you clicking on to get the prompt box to show up? This box right here, um, Ken and Gia, this box. Oh, yeah. oh my God. Oh, these little elves, right? These 
cute little elves. So to get the prompt to pop up, I'm selecting the eye next to the image, and then it's giving me the prompt. All right. So now I have the two little babies like this. I can say, please recreate and make or and have them wearing purple. Right. So again, let me let me go back. This is what the R prompt list uh, creator does for you. It gets you out your head, basically. So you find some art that you like and you're like, okay, I like the Merry Christmas. I like the two babies. You're not necessarily necessarily looking for the same thing. But if you are, just tell it, make sure you use the same art style. Make sure you use the same aesthetic, all right? But if you're not, then just flow with it and see what it gives you. Because you may end up in a space you didn't even know you were gonna head on to, right? So this whole watercolor situation and then the caricature babies. Okay, so let me refresh. And yeah, it's it gets like this during the day because it's so many people using it, right? That it, it, you have a lot of errors on it, right? Now these two little babies right here, I may end up taking into Procreate or uh, what is it? Adobe Fresco and, and erasing the background, right? I don't like this one. That one is weird. Let me go back. Yeah, that one was weird. No. All right. <laughs> so I have these babies and I have these babies. I'm in, it, Instead of re-rolling it, because it created a new prompt, I'm going to copy this prompt and then I'm going to refresh here. And then I'm going to paste the prompt for this one. So that way I can get more that look like this. All right. And what I should have done is pasted that and then said here, okay, I can do that. African-American twin babies with tiny twisted braids with twisted braids illustrated as a cheerful digital caricature. They are dressed in purple. Elf themed rompers sitting amidst a playful scene or sitting against sitting. Nope, we're gonna take off sitting against the presence because I don't I don't want the presence. I want to try to get it as a um, white background. The twins are reaching for a shiny purple ornament. I will leave it red. Their expressions full of mischief and delight. And on a flat white background. See if it will generate or if it's going to continue to give me an error. If it does, it just means I need to come off of this and get onto it later on. But uh, yeah, and I could take this prompt and copy it and then do the very same thing change it to purple. And then like I showed you guys in the very beginning, you can take and change the entire color of the image since the skin is brown, right? I don't know why they did these babies. This is so, they, this is dirty. This is weird. They did these babies dirty, but I wouldn't get rid of them. I would probably... <laughs> Come on, Dally. <laughs> oh, Dally, come on, bro. <laughs> Talk about dirty. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry for anybody that's eating at lunch because that. <laughs> okay, so we're going to stay here. And we, 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 I'll end up refreshing and starting a new chat because I don't know what my assistant, that's what I call um, chat GBT. 
I don't know what my my assistant is doing right now, but he ain't doing what he he's supposed to be doing. The the art ain't ain't arting. The babies ain't babying. It's doing something super real, right? So some something super weird, right? So I just wanted to show you guys how the art prompt list creator worked and some other things that you could do with the art. Uh yeah, it went it, it went downhill real. <laughs> Oh my God, it means I have to go to bed now so I can be up late at night and work with this. Because whoever is on the team this afternoon, they ain't teaming. The team ain't teaming. Mm -mm, I need to go find corporate Aaron over on TikTok and get it together because this ain't it. <laughs> so um, yeah, so, and 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 one thing um, about the whole purple situation is it doesn't have to be kids. It can also be adults. It can also be images of adults and it, it can also be images that are hand-drawn. So I'm going to use one of my hand-drawn images. So, well, this is, nope, that's not hand-drawn. That is, that was done in, okay. That was AI, but I turned it into a Canva frame. And I'll show how to do that another time, how to do, create Canva frames out of your AI art. But this art is hand-drawn. And I used um, AI art as a reference. The other art had long braids and, you know, a different, a, ho a whole different look to a necklace on. I took all of that off, right? So this is hand-drawn. It is purple. This is for my people that draw and procreate. You set your um, resolution up super high and then you download it from procreate into um, Canva. You know, unlike, what is it? You can depending on how the layers are set up, it's a really weird space to go from Procreate into Canva as an editable image as far as layering is concerned, right? But going from Fresco and or PSD into or PDF or, you know, from Photoshop, Illustrator, or Fresco into um, Canva, you get layering. It's a, it's, 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 the tools just act differently with Canva, right? So if you're somebody that doesn't know how to use any of those applications like Procreate, um, Adobe Illustrator, or Adobe Fresco, or Photoshop, then um, if you draw in Procreate, you know, um, did I, I didn't mean Procreate. Those of you that know how to use Procreate but don't know how to use the other tools, right? Stay with Procreate. When you trace the outlines of your art, Make sure you fill in the spaces that you want to be able to change the colors to four, right? Two, four, whatever you're supposed to say. <laughs> you make it purple. So as the hand, since the, this is hand drawn and it's purple and it's a PNG and there are no layers to it. It's, it's a PNG, no layers. I can come over here to adjust and then down here to the color edit and see purple. And now I can adjust the color of my design, all right? So the whole color and chain situation can be done with um, hand-drawn art and also art that you convert into, because this is a Canva frame. So some of you may have access to this Canva frame. If you make it purple, what she's wearing purple, because this is AI art to Canva frame, then you can go to edit photo, and again, adjust and then slide the um, hue uh, button up and down. All right. And I do teach people how to do this. I do teach people how to go from uh, AI art to Canva frames. I do teach people how to make uh, prompt guides. I do teach people how to use ChatGPT. If you're interested in any of that, Head over to bit.ly and YouTube, you do have a link in the description that will get you to Coco Twins Classroom. Click on it. When you get to Coco Twins Classroom, you'll be able to see my Teachable School. Right now, I have 2024 memberships open. So I do offer mindset membership. I offer a mentorship program to show you how to for basic learning. So this is all um, on-demand classes, self-paced, pre-recorded. Um, you get access to all the classes I drop each month. And the price that you see here is a one-time payment 
for an entire quarter. So January, February, March, you don't have to keep paying this over and over again. You pay it one time, you're good for three months. Um, you get recordings um, to, if you are in the plus learning, you'll get a recording to a live session that you will get. You get a, access to a Pick My Brain session every month, right? And you'll come together as a group where you can talk about all the classes that we talked about or anything else. And it's it's like, it'll be like a um, work session where we just bring all our projects together and then we work together. The Premium Learning Lab is currently sold out, but I'll be opening up more seats on the Premium Learning Lab because I just brought on four addition, four or five additional coaches. So instead of the the one-on-one coaching that you get with the premium learning lab just being with me, you'll be able to create um select a coach that is specialized in a certain area. So maybe you want to work with somebody that's very proficient in Canva. Maybe you want to work with somebody that's very proficient in KDP. Maybe you want to work with somebody that's very proficient in um, teaching beginners who don't know how to draw how to draw, and then how to become cricket contributors. Those are the levels of coaches that will be added for Q1. So those of you that are in the premium learning lab, you right now, you already got your, your seat in it. You get one coaching, one one-on-one coaching session each month. You're also part of the Plus Learning Lab. The Plus Learning Lab also is part of the Quick Basic Learning or the basic learning lab, so plus learning lab. And then all of these include mindset mastery. So if you're someone that just needs to work on the mindset for the first first quarter of 2024, and then you wanna move on to learning something, then that's fine. Then you wanna move on to having um, a live session where you ask your questions because you're ready to go further, then that's fine. Then you can move on up into the membership, the premium learning lab where you have your one-on-ones where we can drill in on what it is you wanna be able to do. I also have individual classes. So if you wanna learn how to create AI prompt guides, I have that here, it includes a template. If you wanna learn how to write prompts, you can take this class and have it along with the AI prompt creator and double down on this whole situation right here. If you wanna learn how to make um, design affirmation cards, this comes with a bundle of um, templates for you to be able to create your affirmation cards. And then this one right here is the AI art to Canva frame class. All right. This weekend, Friday and Saturday, I'm doing a chat GPT class. So a chat GPT class for beginners where it says no experience and a chat GPT class class for creatives. And this is the master class. The master class, I will be showing you how to use chat GPT or how to create GPTs in ChatGPT, how to use AI PRM, and how to create prompts for ChatGPT 3.5. You'll also be able to um, uh, register to use my GPT creator. I created a prompt that creates GPTs, <laughs> so you don't have to try to figure it out, all right? If you are someone who wants access to the GPTs that I create, all of them in one location, the GPTs, the I create chatbots um, from scratch using Zapier. So I do chatbots that are not dependent on um, ChatGPT. So you can use them right within the subscription. And I'm also um, adding the um, AI art prompt list um, option to this as well. So if you just want to come and get a list of ideas for what to create, then that will be a part of the Dow chatbot. And the dial chatbot is $24.99 a month. All right. Everything in the school um, through for the rest of December. So December special is the code to use to get 25% off. If you sign up for the subscription and take 25% off, it's 25% off every month. If you are an affiliate and your affiliation code allows you to use it um, well, some affiliates have a 25% affiliation. They, they get paid 25%. Others may have 10%. So just imagine your link being used to um, somebody purchases the premium learning lab and you make 25% of $699. Okay. All right. So it's all there. It's ready to go. 
And if you're somebody that's like fully on the class classes, because you know what? I don't want to learn nothing. Just take me to the digital downloads. So on my website, cocotwins.com, this is my PLR website. So my PLR website, private, uh, private label rights, which means that some of the things you have to make edits to, so that way um, you add your own brand style too. Like I have um, printable and digital and printable uh, stationary bundles, right? Um, those look like, so if I click on it, you get, do, does she put the video up? There it is. You get all of these designs. So you can add your words to it. You can create your own type of planner. It's all set up in Canva and ready to be used. And it comes with mock-ups. So that's a PLR product that's um, being offered. Um, this one has two buyers. You can either just buy a link to the Canva document as a PDF document, or you can buy the link to the Canva template itself. And the Canva template will get you access to the template I use to create this so you can make edits to it. Or you can buy both the template and the PDF and it'll be one buyer zero restrictions, which means you can just resell it just as you got it. No need to make any changes if it's one buyer zero restrictions, right? Then we also have prompt guides. So we have prompt guides on here. And our prompt guides have PLR um, rights to them as well. All right. We have PLR journal kits. So the journal kits. And I want those that are selling AI art to see the other ways you can sell it and also check check the pricing. All right. All right. Because you don't have to sell what you create for four or five dollars. Because what these will do, these PLR um, prompt guides, what they will help people be able to do is create their own journals that they can um, self-publish on KDP. Or they can just sell the, the product as a digital download product to their customers. All right. Then we also have clip art. So the art that I showed you before that I turned into a Canva frame. So you, you get the Canva frame and you also get these various designs that you can use in your commercially. And we have other designs as well. Everything that we've created has a high resolution to it. Then we have PLR done for you 2024 hyperlinked planners. They come with mock-ups. So when I select the planner, you get the entire planner already set up and is one buyer zero restrictions. So you can sell it just as it is. It is fully hyperlinked PDF document. So all of these pages have been hyperlinked. All right. Let me go back. Then we also have interiors that have already, they're already put together like this one is an expert curated self-love toolkit, PLR printable and digital download product where you can add your covers to it. And let's see here, add your covers to it. And these, trying to see what the edits product. Mm -mm -mm. So you must modify before you sell. So selling these can look like just changing the font style. You, know, you don't have to go that far. Just, just make sure it doesn't look just like what you've um, purchased from me. So that way we don't, um, you don't accidentally cause um, brand confusion between me and yourself. All right. And then of course, people ask me to run back the clip art. So this is one of the designs that I drew by hand and she is copyright protected and you guys have, you may have seen her before. So this is something that I drew. This is something that I've drawn. Um, so I did bring back the clip art. So that way, if you guys want clip art for your, some of you may recognize this image too. If you want, and some of you may recognize this image. This one is floating all around the town and it was drawn by me. So if you want the SVG, um, a clean SVG, if you want to be able to get access to the raw data, just in case it needs to be edited, then the place to purchase it from is me, right? So I have those back in stock as well. Um, so that's all on the website. Now, if you head over to Etsy, and again, see Coco Twins. Etsy.com. Again, for those of you that are selling the AI art, you can see the different ways that I'm using the AI art here. 
I even took AI art from or used a prompt guide to create um, this design. Um, and it's from one of my girlfriends, the graffiti um, Tumblr. And I'll put it in the description once I find it. Um, so the Tumblr designs, right? You can do the prompt guides. You can do your templates. You can create clip art that people can use on hoodies. Um, and the list goes on and on and on. Your AI art doesn't just stop at <laughs> clip art or it just doesn't stop at clip art. There are levels to this thing. There are levels to this thing, all right? And then once you figure out what you wanna create, understand that there are levels to that thing that you wanna create. There are levels to that, all right? So level, le it's a lot of levels to this thing. And if you are using the dial chat bot, you may not be able to give access to other people to be able to use it, but what you can do is create a service. So those of, the, of you that have access to the um, dial chat bot, and you happen to go to, and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. So let me get into it as if I am a student. Uh, let's go down here. There we go. So the dial chat bot, those of you that are in it, then the GPT library, when you click on it, oh, I'm not logged in. I gotta be logged in, y'all. Give me a second. I gotta get logged into this. I thought I was logged in over here. Nope. So give me one sec. Let me come out of the incognito window. Let me go into my active window. And let me get into it from the back door. All right, almost there, almost there. And one more click, there it is. All right. I'll just close the job. Mm -mm -mm. There it goes. Did not mean to close it. All right. So those of you that have the dial chat bot and you select GPT library, what it will do is give you access to a li uh, library of GPTs that you can click on and it'll take you right to chat GPT. It also gives you the ability to, this is the dial chat bot. So there are chat bots built right into ChatGPT. And sometimes you have to refresh to get it activated, but you can do your chat, your um, AI searching with searches within the dial bot. And then there are also, let's see, a specialty bots. So this one creates this type of art for mid-journey. This is for mid-journey. And I have video tutorials for you to watch and let's see here. So say for instance, you wanted to, let me, I'm trying to get to one of the, the, li the library, let's see, GPT library. So say if you wanted to create a list of ideas for what to sell digital, you know, as a digital download, you could do that for yourself. But at the very same time, you can also do it for as a service. So you can use this GPT to create lists, Etsy, idea, Etsy ideas for digital downloads. So if we do Etsy ideas, let me see if it comes up. So Etsy ideas. So people are selling ideas, 15 digital download product ideas. You can create a digital download product that offers ideas because people don't know what to create. So you can take the chat bot and create an entire service where you create lists for people as a service. You create lists 
for people that they can sell as a service. You create lists that people can use in their classes or just for themselves, right? So that is just one of the GPTs, right? Another one will, um, and this one is a, let's see, description, description areas. This one is a chat bot where it will write out your listing description for you on Etsy. So you don't have to go into ChatGPT and use your time there. You can go ahead and write your description out right in here. So if I say something like, what it's asking me is what are, what are you creating or what are you selling? I am selling um, digital downloads of watercolor Christmas stickers. And this isn't a, um, this isn't a, let's see here, hit go. So this isn't something that you can get outside of this chatbot. You have to use it within here. It's something that I wrote and created for um, this service. But I also have the mid journey. Oh no, not the mid journey. I got to add that one for y'all. Here, give me one second, y'all. I want to show y'all something else in here. So give me one. And this is going to be added this week. And it is a new GPT that I wrote that will write your descriptions for you here in Etsy or on Canva. Mm, Y'all, Lord have mercy. Here on ChatGPT. So I'm designed to create a keyword rich product listing for you through a series of questions. I'll develop a catchy title, detailed description, features, benefits, FAQs, identify target cost customers, suggest monetization ideas, and list relevant keywords. It will write out your listing for you, right? So this one will be up in the um, bot net or in the subscription next. The other one I want to show you, oh, so with the description wizard, let me go back. So you can create a service where you are writing listings for people and just answer the questions that are here. So you'll, you'll, your customer will say, can you write a listing for me? Because I am selling. And it may time out on me because you guys know it put me in timeout. I am selling uh, digital and printable 2024 calendars featuring unique art. Hit enter. Yeah, I reached my limit on this one. I don't know about the other one, but it will just, it'll talk to you and ask you, what do you want to create next? Or not what do you want to create next, but give me more details about it. What type of file type are you offering? Um, what, um, uh, what are the pain points it solves? And the thing about this is that it will give you, and I'm gonna see if I can get into it in the other account. It will give you, <laughs> excuse me, suggestions. So give me one second. I want to see if I can get into it from my other account. So this, yeah, this is the incognito window. So I'm going to paste it. And this one will be pay, uh, posted this week to the chatbot portal. So you guys never have to write a listing. Oh, this one is timed out. No, that's, that's not that's not right. There it is. Okay. So you never have to write a listing again. And then you can also write listings for other people. All right. So let's go ahead and let's try it out. So I am selling digital downloads of 2024 calendars featuring unique, diverse art. So it is taking in what I wrote and now it's saying, okay, so to optimize the listing, what file format are you offering to people? Are you offering a PDF? This is what it's for. Are you offering a JPEG? This is what it's for. Are you offering a PNG? I'm going to go ahead and type three because I'm letting know I'm offering a PNG for my calendars or even a PDF. Now it's saying, um, what does the, your product, what pain point does it solve? Because a lot of people forget about 
that aspect of creating a digital download. How can your product help people, right? Organization and planning, cultural, cultural representation, and aesthetically pleasing, one, two, and three. And now it is going to ask me, oh, it's giving me my key pain points is acknowledging what I wrote. So now it says the next step, what are your terms of use for your digital download product? Is it for personal use only? No redistribution, limited printing rights. I'm going to say one because maybe you just want people to use it on their own. You don't want them being able to sell it or maybe you do. You just tell it that's what you want. So now it's saying, let's focus on the USP because we want to double down on how this product can help people. So the USP is a unique selling point. So exclusive artwork, customizable features, if you allow people to edit it um, in uh, Canva or just edit it in general and artistic collaboration. Maybe you collaborated with other AI artists. I'm going to go ahead and say one for exclusive artwork. And now is asking me, are there any additional inform any additional information I want to add to it to optimize the listing, like the background information, any special features, customer support, right? I'm going to go ahead and say, um, just no. You can say yes if it has some special features that you want to put in your listing. So now it is going to write three keyword rich titles for us. It is going to write an SEO optimized product description for us. It is writing the features of the product for us. And we can put this all in our listing over on Etsy. It's giving us a list of benefits, how we can help people. It's giving us some FAQs based on the information we gave it. So that way we can um, help customers that may have questions. They can go check out our FAQs. It is letting us know what type of customers can benefit from this. And it's also giving us seven ways to monetize the product. Right. Then after that is giving us keyword tags. And those keyword tags you can take and check in Etsy to see if people are actually searching by those keyword tags. So this is the description writer for Etsy. You can use it for yourself or maybe you create a service where you help other people write their listings, all right? Then I also primed it to give you um, uh, access to Everbe, which is the tool that I use to check. And it is my affiliate link. So I may earn a couple of nickels if you guys become a subscriber of Everbe. All right. So this is what I wrote. Um, and in demonstrating the use of GPT, I hope I encourage you guys to come check out my masterclass that I will be having on Saturday. Or if you're new to ChatGPT, check me out on um, Friday. All right. So that is what I have today. I thank you guys so very much for joining. I look forward to um, going live more on YouTube so that way I can interact with people a lot easier for me and make it a lot more convenient for you. All right. So thank you guys so very much. And don't forget to hit the like button on this great content, as Araya said, so that way we can keep it coming. All right. All right, you guys have a great day and I will 